Fall officially began on Saturday, and Halloween, as you know, is now weeks away. I know, I can't believe it. And one IUPUI professor likes to keep that spooky spirit alive year-round. WRTV's Nico Benisi is live on campus to explain his unconventional method of teaching students about health. Nico, good morning. Good morning. In this class, students are encouraged to use their brains. It's called zombie apocalypse and doomsday infections. Students get a chance to talk about their favorite undead movies and TV shows, all while learning about infectious diseases. If you walk into Tom Tuzinski's office, it's like a spirit Halloween. You'd think it's Halloween year round. Does this ever scare you? No, I sometimes wear it to class. Scary masks, bat covered mugs, and a skull clattered sign that reads, Beware of zombies. The epidemiologist has an affinity for the undead. Everybody loves zombies. We all have our favorite zombie shows. Uh, so it was a way to sort of attract attention to the science. Dzinski is a clinical assistant professor at IUPUI. Nine years ago, he started a course called Zombie Apocalypse and Doomsday Infections to help students sink their teeth into the topic. As we looked around the world, we found these creatures in almost every society and every culture, and they have a lot of similarities. We had to have some way of explaining the natural world when we didn't understand, like germ theory and how diseases work. The course is open to all undergraduate students. They learn about transmission outbreaks and do case studies on respiratory infections, tuberculosis, HIV AIDS, and other STDs. Well, how do you stop a zombie? How do you prevent disease transmission from occurring? So the correlations are really easy for people to start grasping and understanding. Movies and TV shows like Resident Evil, The Walking Dead, and most recently, The Last of Us have permeated popular culture. Maya Gutierrez says talking about them is one of her favorite parts of the class. The Last of Us was like my favorite show this year, so it was fun to be able to talk about that in class. The junior is studying public health because she has an interest in policy making, working with minority populations here in Indianapolis. It's a similar story for Sarita Maharjan, who's also a public health major. I wanted to involve more in the community and like do more projects like that. Education is a really big problem that we have and like the lack of resources to certain schools as comparative to others. In the past three years, Dzinski says there's an increased public interest in epidemiology. People could see the role this field of science played in the COVID-19 pandemic. A lot of students reached back to me, though, that had taken my zombie course and said, oh my gosh, I am so glad I took the course. Now I understand what's going on in the real world and I could help educate others. And I asked Dzinski which real life disease most closely resembles zombification. He tells me it's rabies. And that's because there's some clinical similarities between a human infected with rabies and zombie infection. And those things are a lack of consciousness, hyper irritability, and violent or ferocious behavior such as biting. Reporting live, Nico Panisi, WRTV.